Founded in 1972, West Tech has grown to become one of the major suppliers in the process equipment industry today. Thousands of West Tech equipment installations are working around the clock in the United States and around the world, including our solutions for digestion in the wastewater industry. West Tech digester covers are built to meet our customers' needs as we work to keep the assembly and installation a simple and efficient process. A member of our team will be ready to assist you at any hour if questions or concerns arise during the assembly of our equipment. To reach us during normal business hours, call 801-265-1000 or any time outside of regular business hours, call 801-263-4093. In this video, you will see the basics of the installation process of a fixed digester cover, including inspecting and leveling the tank, erecting the center ring, preparing the side sheets, installing the prefabricated cover plates, welding procedures, installing the filler plates, installing the accessories, lifting the cover, testing. Number one, inspecting and leveling the tank. The tank must conform to specifications for the mechanism to work properly. Check the tank for proper diameter, roundness, and plumbness. Anchor bolt size placement and projection must conform to West Tech's general arrangement drawings. Prior to lifting the cover in place or erecting the cover inside the tank, Position the hold down bases, including UHMW slide plates and anchor bolts in the correct locations around the top of the tank wall. Be sure to follow the assembly drawings and the instructions provided by the anchor bolt manufacturer. Level all of the hold down bases to the same elevation using leveling nuts as necessary. Leveling the bases prior to lifting the cover in place will make it easy to determine which supports are taking the cover load and which bases need to be raised once the cover is resting on the hold down bases. Continue this process around the tank. To avoid excessive stresses on the cover supports, it is critical that the cover weight be evenly distributed among the fixed supports. Number two, erecting the centering. Position the centering on supports at the exact center of the cover and adjust for level and proper elevation. The elevation of the center ring can be found on West Tech's general arrangement drawings. The center ring support must remain in place until the cover plates have been welded to the radial beams. Maintaining the main elevation is crucial to ensuring the radial beams fit properly. Number three, preparing the side sheets. Assemble and true up the side sheets. Do not weld side sheets together until completing the installation procedures for the prefabricated radial beam roof plate sections. Cribbing or scaffolding may be necessary to ensure the side sheet sections are level. Space the side sheet joints forming in a ring to the appropriate diameter. The radial measurement from the dome to the inside of the side sheet should be approximately equal at each beam location. Some pulling of the side sheet sections may be necessary to achieve this tolerance. Check the diameter at the top and bottom of the side sheet. The measurement should be equal to within three quarters of an inch. Number four, installing the prefabricated radial beam roof plates. Install the radial beam roof plate sections at each side sheet. Do not install the prefabricated roof plate sections so as to span a side sheet splice. This arrangement will result with alternative pie sections of prefabricated roof sections. Bolt the radial beams to the centering and to the side sheet with erection bolts. Make any required adjustments. After final adjustments are done, complete the structural welding as shown on the erection drawings. Number five, welding procedures. Seal weld the radial beams to the centering to distribute heat and prevent buckling. Weld beams working from opposite sides using back step or skip weld sequence. 
After the center dome and radial beam roof plate sections are in place, weld the side sheets to provide a gas tight seal. Remove the side sheet fit up bolts, install the tension ring splice sections, and weld using a complete full penetration weld. Use back step or skip weld sequence procedures to distribute heat and prevent buckling. All continuous welds must be gas tight. Strictly observe welding symbols on the cover general assembly drawings. Some seal welding may still be required after testing. All gas tight welds must be tested. It is strongly recommended that weld testing be performed before the paint is applied to the seams. The cover is safe to be moved at this point, although if cover is assembled inside the tank, this will not be necessary. Number 6. Installing the roof plates. Plates are furnished flat and will conform to beam curvature due to their own weight. Some clamping may be required for larger plates. Plate installation should progress from the center ring to the outer perimeter in a fashion that will balance the framework during the welding procedure. The inner portion of the cover plates are not required to butt flush with the center ring. The adapter ring is designed to cover any gaps that exist between the innermost cover plate and the center ring. Use back step or skip weld sequence procedures and observe welding on Westex general arrangement drawings all structural welding should now be complete. Number 7. Installing the accessories. Refer to general assembly drawings for position of manholes and accessories. Plumb, level, and tack weld into position. Weld using a gas tight weld as required. Holes may be cut in the roof plates for manholes, mixer ports, sample tubes, and nozzles at West Hex shop. Some appurtenances may need field locating and cutting as required. Refer to West Tech assembly drawings for locations and hole sizes. When installing a sample tube, a stiffener may be required. Position the sample tube, plumb and level. When the sample tube is plumb, attach the two stiffeners. Position and weld the adapter rings. Use gas tight welds install cover plates, manhole covers, and spark resistant quick opening sample tube hatches. Be sure to include the gaskets and to tighten the bolts evenly. Apply anti-seize to all stainless steel bolts. Install flame arrester and pressure relief vacuum breaker assembly per manufacturer's recommendations. Number 8. Lifting the cover. Lifting lugs, which are not provided by Westec, should be placed at the connection between the radial beams and the side sheet. Pick points are located at every other radial beam. Rigging must be held at a 60 degree minimum angle as shown in the Westec O&M manual. Carefully lower the cover into the tank ensuring proper orientation and maintaining the specified gap between the side sheet and the tank wall around the perimeter of the digester. With the cover resting on the lower slide plates, position the upper slide plates onto the tube supports and position the hold down straps and bolt into place. Number 9. Testing. All gas tight welds must be tested. Test the cover for gas leaks in the welds. A vacuum box test or soap suds test are typical methods of testing the welds for gas tightness. Thank you for your time. Remember, a West Tech representative will be available to assist you any time to answer questions or concerns. To reach us during normal business hours, call 801-265-1000 or any time out of regular business hours, call 801-263-4093.